Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. Today, we are going over what to expect from the new character update and things that are not going to be added just to kind of like put it all out there. I read through the article again just to make sure that I got everything right. I made two lists, things that they're planning on adding in the future and things that will 100% be released at the official release date of the character update. So without any further ado, let's just begin and start with the good which is things that are going to be 100% released with the new character design update. So it looks like there will be multiple updates to this kind of one big overarching update, meaning like, oh, more hairstyles will come later on, more eye colors later on, and more kind of customizational features later on, but the basics are going to be included with the initial release. So this is the items, these are the items that will be 100% released with the first update of the updated character update. So the first thing we have are six body shapes and type. Now this is a huge step up from what Star Stable had in the past or like right now because there's only one as compared to six shapes that we'll be getting. So it is a little bit of a step up but apparently they are might be planning on adding more although this is one of the more challenging aspects. But upon the initial release we can say hello to six body shapes to choose from and yes only six but is better than what we have. Next, 100% released will be 12 new skin tones and shades. Lots of diversity, so just lots of different skin tones as compared to what we have in game right now, which is definitely a step in the right direction. There will be only 12 kind of shades that you can choose from at the beginning with this release, but again, it's better than what we have in game. Third thing that will be 100% released are new hairstyles. I'm not sure if this will be released with the first update or with a conjoining update later on, but they did say they were planning on releasing quite a few new hairstyles with the release of the body shapes and everything else like that. So I'm guessing that it is with the initial release to Star Stable. So we will be getting new wigs and updated old wigs for anyone that has crusty hairstyles, but we all do right now. But it looks like every single hairstyle that is will have gotten a more up-to-date version of it that you can purchase in game. Now this wasn't said or mentioned, but in the picture there was this rare curly hairstyle that you could have only gotten if you were a player before a certain date so in my opinion I feel like that might be coming back game just because why would they spend so much time working on it if it was not added back to game for other players to check out so I'm not sure if that will be re-added to the game with the new updated texture or not but I would just look out for that just in case it does get re-added there will be a closed beta which you could sign up for they haven't released too many details on this yet but apparently the start date to sign up is September and they will be putting out more details about it very soon. The character updates will be 100% free, probably like what we have in game right now, such as you get one free character change and then you have to pay later on consecutively with more star coins. So yeah, it's probably like what we have in game right now, but to start out, it will be 100% free because if it wasn't, everyone would be looking crusty, musty, and the new character update wouldn't be very fair. So it will be free and you will have access to all of the customization features once it is released to a game. But this includes the same customization screen they did say, so the same buttons, the same overall features that is already there. It might look a little bit different than what we have in game right now, but basically the outline of it is going to be the same and just stay with like change eye color, change hairstyle, change makeup, and so on and so forth. Next, we will be getting brand new eye colors or updated eye colors to game alongside eyebrow shapes. Now, they did say there will be 16 eyebrow shapes to choose from which is quite a lot and I'm really excited for that since you can change your character from what another one looks like in game whereas right now we just have like six faces to choose from so this will make it a lot more customizable in the long run. Well, upon the initial release the makeup will be the same. They might add a couple new makeup looks but by the same I mean the same ones we have in game right now alongside that you can't change the lipstick 
apart from the eyeshadow. They're both together, which they are looking to change in future consecutive updates, but not in the initial release, where you can only have the eyeshadow and lipstick together. Eye shapes. We will get different eye shapes and eye types in Star Stable, which is different from the face shapes, meaning like you could choose a face shape and then an eye shape separate from one another to create your own look. There will be updates on the old hairstyles, and in my opinion, it kind of reminds me of Maxis Match CC, not CC, but like Sims Maxis Match Wallity, which is really cute, and I think it does match Star Stable. If you're wondering what this looks like, you could go to their blog post or to the NPCs in Game Bestie. That's literally what we're kind of gonna look like. Like, it's weird. Um, next, the clothes. The clothes are still gonna be a little bit eh. They said, like, they tried and it's all there, but they are wanting to make it smoother and more, like, crisper in the future. That's not their exact wording. I don't know why I did air quotes, but they're gonna make it crisper. All right, besties, the clothes maybe won't look 100% upon initial release. As you can see, they are a bit more, like, ooh, no, it's not gonna be like that, but on a different release. So, not the first release. It'll be, like, eh, but upon other releases, they'll fix the clothes to make them hug the skin better and, like, just kind of make it more smooth, if you get what I mean. Yeah, bestie, yeah. Next, we will have the same animations. So, sorry, bestie, if you love looking at animations in Star Stable, we are getting the same ones until a future consecutive release. So, upon the first release, no new animations. They're just like, all right, no animations. Just get the same walk, crawl, run, whatever, crouch. Yeah, same animations, no new dances, I'm guessing. So, that is kind of sad, but they will be changing it later on. So, stay tuned for that. Next, we are going to talk about the things that they said that they would put in game, but not with the initial release. So like in an update separate from the initial release and what they still want to look on towards the future and work on, add accessories and stuff like that. So let's get into it. Of course, they are going to make lips and eye makeup separable so you can make your own makeup look in Star Stable alongside a no makeup look just in case you don't want your avatar to have makeup in game. That would be an option as well. So like if you want really light lipstick, you could put that separate from the full face of makeup that they currently have to choose from in game. Those are going to be separate and you can mix and match a bunch of different things. Next, they are going to improve muscle definition. So it looks like the body types might have different skin textures and muscle definition in the future, but not with the first release. So I'm looking forward to that as muscle definition will be increased and probably have more like athletic body types as well. Or just add on to these the option to have more muscle in game. Next, I already said this, but they will be adding more skin textures. So I'm guessing like stretch marks, acne, and just all those normal things. They will be adding those in a separate release. They also said they'll be adding birthmarks, vitiligo. I hope I said that correctly, but it is so beautiful. I literally, <laughs> like bestie, if you have that, I admire you. All right, but there uh, they have birthmarks, vitiligo. I'm guessing a bunch of different like choices for birthmarks since everyone has kind of a different one that does have one. So that is very unique and interesting to your avatar. And they will also improve scars where you can add scars on your avatar and skin texture, as I've already said. Next, they will have the option for heterochromia. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Um, But they will have that so you can have two different colored eyes. By this, I'm not sure if they mean just two different colored eyes or like the heterochromia where half of your eye is a different color. I'm not sure what they're going with there, but they will have 100% heterochromia added, not with the initial release, but with a future update in the very future. Next, they will add more hairstyles and more oily and curly hairstyle options. In game, we have none. Let's be honest, Bestie, we don't have any like coily hair, curly-ish hair. Like we have, um, yeah, we don't, we don't really have that. So I'm really excited for it. And they will add a ton more hairstyles like that in the future. So so players can choose a hairstyle that most they like the best represents them, you know, make it a lot more personable to the player. Next, they will make sure the clothes fit better on the avatar and make them more smooth as I've talked about before, but it's not going to be with the initial release. And lastly, they are planning on making new animations for the avatar, but it won't be released with the first round of character update added to game. So yeah, that is everything that you can expect and look forward to and things that you could look forward to in the next 
next 10 years. So yeah, bestie, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I mean, like 10 years, give or take. I mean, like it does take a little bit to add all of the things that they were talking about to games. So I'm guessing like three-ish years or so. Since they are going to focus on the character up first and all the base stuff out, then they will work on the other things that I mentioned. So let me know what you're most excited for in the comments down below. And as always, bestie, I hope you have a horse delicious day. Horses eat. Hey, hey, hey. Gotta play, play, play. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>